I'm Victoria Pierce. I'm the Director of Endangered Heritage. And there's a very large misconception between restoration and conservation. I want to talk a little bit about that. Restorers are often untrained or have a background in art, antiques, antiquities, and they make the decisions about restoring an object from connoisseurship, aesthetics, often doing an awful lot of damage on the way through. For a conservator, we make our decisions about what materials we use to ensure that as much as possible, treatments can be reversed, undone, repaired again, that objects are not just fixed to look like they were, but to be fixed in a way that stops them from continuing to deteriorate. Waxing over the top of corrosion does not stop corrosion. Fixing a textile and putting it in a frame without making sure there's no insect eggs on it is not fixing the textile. A conservator looks at all of the elements of a treatment to make sure that that object's going to last for the next 200 years. That knowledge down to that kind of minute is entirely transferable for other multi uh, media, multi made objects, large complex things like train carriages, aeroplanes, uh, hog collections in museums. It's also the kind of knowledge that helps us to make decisions about the use and human behaviour around heritage sites and even environmental sites. As an expert committee member for ICOMOS ICOR, I also give advice to national organisations on how to prepare their sites and assets against climate change and disaster. Now, while that is, has been grounded in heritage, it's important to remember that sites like the Opera House here in Australia was heritage listed when it was only four years old. Heritage doesn't always mean old. You might be building something that is automatically going to be iconic. This is often the case with bridges. It's important to have a really good idea of what kind of impact your project is going to have on the community and to make sure that that stakeholder engagement and the use and sustainability for the community is done in a science-based way.